Tonight, one of the two people in the helicopter crash out at Red Rock has died. The other said to not be doing well. We do thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. The aircraft went down this afternoon, and the road in that area still closed as investigators work to figure out what caused this. 8 News Now reporter Sasha Loftus joining us now live near Red Rock tonight with the very latest. Sasha? Well, Denise and Brian, we're standing along that closed portion of State Route 159 on the way into Red Rock Canyon. You can see a lot of activity behind me here, and that isn't supposed to wrap up anytime soon. Now, I did speak with one man earlier tonight who was hiking through Red Rock Canyon, and he said he walked right up to this helicopter crash wreckage. He tells me it's unlike anything he's ever seen. It definitely hit hard when it went down. Matt Davidson describes the devastation he saw while walking up to this wreckage. It was pretty much smashed, and the tail of the helicopter was just on the opposite side of the road. This is the mangled mess of what used to be a helicopter. The aircraft went down near Red Rock Canyon Wednesday afternoon, leaving a 53 year old man dead. And another man fighting to survive. It's something that we don't see every day. Uh, you don't see a helicopter go down in this area. Nevada Highway Patrol Trooper Jason Barachik calls this kind of crash unusual, but he says the use of small airplanes and helicopters in Las Vegas is much more common. We have 365 days pretty much of sun and no clouds. It's a great destination for people who want to learn to fly and get into aviation. And though first responders raced here as fast as they could, he wants to thank those who stepped up to help until they arrived. We had good Samaritans come to the aid of both uh, people who are on board. As investigators work to figure out what caused this unthinkable disaster. I was concerned for the people that were in the helicopter. Now back out here live, we're told the helicopter that was involved in this crash was a Robinson R-44. Now this road closure, as I said, behind me, a lot of activity. We have flares here, we have uh, tape up, and we have quite a few officers out guarding this. Now we're told that this is set to stay closed at least until noon tomorrow as investigators continue looking into this crash. Reporting live near Red Rock Canyon, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.